Tonight, I'm going to give you a multiple screaming orgasm. This is quite difficult to make, but if you do it right, satisfaction is guaranteed. We now interrupt our scheduled programme for this Nation Live special report. We interrupt this programme to bring you the latest news on the disturbance in Trafalgar Square, where an earlier clash between protesters and police turned violent. Live TV's cameraman Wayne Lovell is at the scene. Wayne, what's the situation? What started off to be a peaceful demonstration made by the Dockers today has turned into somewhat of turmoil. Um, there seems to be a number of protesters which are adamant on uh, using violence in their protest. Um, there seems to be at the moment a confrontation behind the uh, police lines and in front. There is now an exclusion zone uh, in between uh, the police and there are a number of riot police, let's say many uh, hundreds of riot police. We'll be bringing you a further update as soon as details become available. Pops out of the studio, I was around the corner for a quick drink, so I got sidetracked, you know. What do you think, and what sort of fashion statement are you making here? Well, uh, bit of, uh, bit of vigor, vigor, and, um, but when it's, I mean, it's, you know, it's mad, it's a lot of people I haven't seen for many years out there, do you know what I mean? So, so it's... Bit of schmoozing with a celeb. Well, British music and British celebs is where it's at at the moment, to be quite honest, you know what I mean? There's nothing else happening anywhere else, really. Well, Sean, if ever there was a week where the patriotic punter came out of the woodwork, this is the week. Football in a moment, but first tennis. Henman through to the semi-finals. First Brit since Roger Taylor in 1973. Must have cost you a few, Bob. Yeah, it's cost us a good few, Bob, already. And if he goes all the way, it's going to be very, very expensive indeed. If Henman wins Wimbledon, that will be a very, very popular bet, and it will be expensive for the bookmakers. <laughs> Ray, how would you describe your artwork? I would describe it as um, the way I see passion um, as opposed to pornography. It's, it's looking for the sensuality of the subject. Um, it's more of a, an emotional turn on rather than a, a, a physical turn on. I'm looking for beauty. Welcome to Body Heat. I'm Martika, this is my team, and if you're too busy to work out, this is the perfect option for you because we're giving you a little mini workout to squeeze a little bit of exercise into your day. Okay, so get up and join, join in with us. Let's start by marching, right foot. March your arms, and pump your, pump, march your feet, that is. If you can march your arms, I'd be very impressed. Pump your arms and take long, deep breaths. It's warming up our muscles. As you can see, it's a beautiful day. West Ham were in light training today, preparing for their opening match of the season against newly promoted Barnsley. The Tykes have waited a while to get into the Premiership and will certainly pose the Hammers a few problems. It's their first game uh, in the Premiership. They're going to really go for it, aren't they? Yes, yeah, it's, it's our first game of this year in the Premiership, so we're going to really <laughs> go for it as well. So uh, we'd better go for it. So, yeah, the interesting one. They, they've just come up to the Premier League so you know they're going to be up for the game but um, you know we, we were up for it as well and um, you know it don't really matter where you go at this first game of the season it's always going to be hard um, you know and we've got Barnsley away so it's just another game to us. And you can buy protection for antiques a tiny microchip which slots inside any item contains all the owner's details it's bound to be heaving and hot so get there early. I think, I think a young lady who likes a good, a good time, a good night out, good fun, um, and enjoys a baby sham. The mixture between Kate Moss, uh, Elmer Ferson. Well, I also like her over there who's judging on the panel for more magazine. 